Welcome, it's the CHGO Blackhawks pregame show presented by Coors Light. Late night hockey for you tonight, Hawks at Ducks. Late enough for you? Late, yeah, it's going to be later on Saturday. Woo. <laughs> I'm Jay Zawoski with Greg Boyson and Mario Tirabasi. Hawks looking to get back in the win column tonight against Anaheim. A uh, little bit of a change to the lineup, as we know. Colin Blackwell left the last game with an injury and will not play tonight. We're going to hear from Luke Richardson we're going to share the new lines with you, but first, we want you to do a favor for us. Smash that like button for us. Smash! Smash it. Make Smash sure you are subscribed to our YouTube page as well. This is not podcasted, but during the game, while you're looking at your phone, you might as well pop on your favorite podcast app or two, hit that subscribe button, and hey, take 30, 40 seconds to leave us a five-star review and while you're already getting uh, compliments on your graphic. Yes. Oh, I loved it. Nice it was work. so much fun. That was fun. Good Thank stuff. you. And if you Thank are everybody. a Google Podcasts user, uh, Think make again. sure you uh, familiarize yourself with a new podcasting app and find us there because I hear it's it's dead, dying. Well, yes. you know, honestly, one of the things we've done recently on our YouTube page is to uh, we've created multiple like channels, if you will, where like this show is just in the Chicago Blackhawks world, but our post game show will also be in Chicago Blackhawks podcast. So those are going to become the new Google. Like YouTube is going to be like the new streaming. Oh, service. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's kind of taking over for Google. I got oh. you. As far so as, like, you, so like as, YouTube, as like podcast, so like network. YouTube podcasts will be a thing. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Is it video only though? No, 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 no. It'll this, be, I'm learning this on the fly. It, yeah, it'll, it'll grab the audio. And, and, and honestly, hmm. one of the cool things about it is, is that I believe if you were uh, at the game and went back to your car, I believe it's sort of the same way. Like it's, it's, you know, it's, it's in a, like a serious XM kind of way where you'd be able to hit YouTube and listen to our post-game show, hmm. I think. I, this, this That's was cool. like sort of as 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 an audio only. Yeah. Okay. And you I can mean, listen you know, to it live. Yeah. 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 Sweet. Which is awesome, right? Mm. That's cool. Yeah. Now I please, need more information yeah, about. This. I know. Yeah. It's it's. Uh, <laughs> you think a podcast company would let the podcasters well, know? That it's that's it's, it's kind of like it's like because it's just sort of happening in April once Google sort of ends. Sure, sure. We're just sort of like testing things and Google's getting ending? ready. Well, no, just the Google Podcasts. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing about Google Podcasts is we share our memories of, of Google Podcasts is. The random one that just wouldn't show up on there. Eh, didn't feel like it. <laughs> that was my yeah. favorite feature. That was I one. don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to. All right, why don't we hear from Luke Richardson ahead of uh, this game between the Hawks and the Ducks, and then we'll tell you about the Lions. Here we go. It looked like Landon was in that slot, at least in the line rushes. Is that? Yeah, he, we're, we liked him in the third period there. We're, we're thinking of putting him there tonight, and uh, it'll be a good uh, challenge for him. But uh, he's shown that he's not afraid, like he said, uh, to go to the blue paint. He had a great screen on uh, Korczynski's goal. And, uh, you know, he's pretty responsible with the puck. So, uh, And we're on the road, so we don't really get that last change to really... Uh, kind of really get a big matchup going but uh uh you know we're looking to see if he can uh give us some uh energy there just like blackwell does are you looking to i guess apply what you guys did in practice yesterday and what you saw from the kings would you i mean out of Korczynski or whomever just do you like to see a little bit more physicality based on you guys focusing on yeah I, th I think we need to get physical earlier we we i think we wait to engage when it's too late defensively and we don't engage and find our, our ways to the front of their net uh you know, quick enough and hard enough. So I think both sides, that drill works both sides of the puck. And, um, you know, that against a really heavy team against uh, the Kings, that really, it's really evident and shows. So the way we started that game, the first 40, 45 minutes uh, of, of that game, I thought, or not 40, uh, 25, 25, 
25 minutes of that game, I thought we played really well. So if we could have added a little bit more physicality in front of both nets, I think we would have, uh, you know, been able to sustain a little bit more against a heavier team like that. So I think that's what we're looking to do the rest of the year. There he is, Luke Richardson, Ben Pope, and Scott Powers, the three people in the room. Yeah, a little intimate conversation. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think the uh, as far as the lineup changes go, um, you know, we saw some some tinkering for the last two games, and now it goes back to something that mostly we've seen, but now Landon Slager's here. So here are the lines. Uh, Jay, this is usually your Oh, sure, your I got job. it. You can go. Uh, left to right, your first line is Felino, Bedard, and Kurashev. Second line, Athena CU, Tyler Johnson, and Lucas Reichel, Landon Slaggart, Jason Dickinson, and Joey Anderson. Whoop. Whoop. Ryan Donato, Mackenzie Entwistle, he's in for Blackwell, and Taylor Radish. Your D pairs are Vlasic and Jones, Korchinski and Magna, uh, and Kaiser and Megan. Zaitsev with Arvid Soderblom <laughs> in Korchinski goal. Korchinski and Megan, that dumpster fire. Yeah, dumpster <laughs> fire, <laughs> Megan. Dumpster fire, Meg- Megan. Hurricane Megan. Or no, what is it? What is it? Hurricane Ashley. That's, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. the term for... Uh, well, People we saw the video, um, speaking of Korchinski and Megna, after the last game, Luke Richardson said, in no uncertain terms, Kevin Korchinski's really nice, and he's a little bit too nice on the ice. Got to get mean. So they had some uh, net front battles. Uh, there's a video going around of Korchinski and and, and uh, Nick Felino, like going at it real in front battle. of the net practice. Yeah, real battle. Yep. And it's good to see he's got it in him. Yeah. And I think there's nothing more to find out if a guy's got that fire than saying... Do you have fire? Are you passionate? Are you tough? Yeah. yeah. That's that's one way to, to get a response from a kid. And if he battles in this game like he did in that practice, he'll have about 20 penalty minutes. But still, <laughs> he'll be uh, <laughs> he'll be much more effective in front of the net. Yeah, and I it's you that that is a drill that is specifically like you are going to have a one on one net battle. There are no referees. Uh, play to the whistle. Like and 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 it's designed to get that kind of response out of these players, um, and that's that's something that you know this this team needs from time to time, and and it's a good lesson for a young guy like Korchinski uh, to get now when he can really like he's his his talent at the NHL level is still completely raw, right? Like there's still so much for him to learn and and uh, for him to become. So at at this stage in his development, rookie year, nineteen years old, like go up against a bigger physical guy like Nick Felino, who's been in some net front battles in his career, um, and you know get that get that engagement. And what I love about the the clip of that um, that drill is that at the end of it, like it's a really good back and forth battle. Felino gets some good hits in on Korchinski. Korchinski gets some good hits in. It's a good battle. And then at the end, you know they they go over and you know this bump and say, Hey, good, good battle. They're all, they're all aiming for the same result right. in that drill. So, um, now, yeah, that was a good sign. I hope it, I hope it translates, uh, to this game and in, in which a team like the ducks, like they're not the Kings. So maybe it's a, it's a good opportunity to hopefully instill some of those lessons learned. Yeah. We've got some, uh, gnashing of teeth in the chat about Magnus still being in a lineup and he's here. He's going to play. Um, it's either Megna or Tornorti, you know? Yeah. We yeah, because Kaiser's place. already in for Tornorti. Right. So, so it's Megna or Tornorti. <laughs> Everybody bitches when Tornorti is in, in the lineup. So he's not in the lineup, and you're still angry. It is what it is. Uh, I don't want to see Jacob Megna out there, but he is. And uh, and they're not gonna they're not going to call up anybody else from Rockford. Not at this point. At this point. No. I mean, they, they, the Ice Hogs are rolling right now. And, uh, uh, oh, well, there you go. Now you get Ooh. both of them in there, according to Ben Pope. Interesting. Oof. Hawks are scratching at whistle. He might not, he must not be healthy. Yeah, it's, it doesn't uh, seem that to way. To scratch and whistle? Yeah. He, he's, maybe he's hmm. got the poops. Um, <laughs> Same. <laughs> so now you get, now you get Megna and Snorty tonight. Enjoy, oh, boy. Enjoy God. it, folks. Bet the over. That is, uh, hmm. Can't Luke play? <laughs> Bet the over, try the veal. How many like shifts is Derek King got left in him? There you go. I don't shifts. know. I, he would ruin the he would ruin the offense. Don't you pay attention? Yes, he does. Yeah, he, he doesn't. Yeah, he 40, made, he'd be the, 40, he'd be the uh, problem. <laughs> Lucas Reichel would instantly get worse as soon as Derek King stepped on yeah, the ice. Yeah. Former forty goal um, scorer doesn't know how to doesn't know offense. Well, that's interesting. 
now that they'll be 11 and 7. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's a lot of people that love Isaac Phillips. And See, I, even though Roy's just rage doesn't even care what the lineup is anymore. If he can get over it, the rest <laughs> of you can too. Yeah. I, you know, I, uh, I would prefer it'd be Isaac Phillips or Louis Crevy up here at least. Seeing what you've gotten those guys, watching them learn yeah, but on the they're, fly. They're but playing important games right now. Yeah. That's true. That's true. The games they're playing in Rockford mean so much more than Blackhawks, Ducks, and Blackhawks, Sharks and, in March. And right now, that's a, a locker room that I would want those guys to be around. Because they're winners, winning. Winners of 10 of their last 11 games. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, that's a good, good spot to be in. Yeah. And what's more meaningful, playing in games that matter or playing 11 minutes a night? Mm-hmm. And and I mean there there's only so many call ups you get post trade deadline. They've already used one on Kaiser, but don't be surprised if Phillips or Crevier or maybe Delmasho or Allen get called up for a little bit of uh, of NHL time before the season's over before going back to Rockford. Like they could do that still. There's still yeah. what thirteen games left. Um, but yeah, right now like those guys playing those minutes in Rockford, it's it's the the crunchiest of times down there. So keep them there. Yeah. Yes, they are. Um, they're in the playoffs. I mean, they haven't clinched, but they are they're all, but they're clinched. going to be in that. Uh, more importantly is they're battling for third place, which means they get the buy in, in the quarterfinals. They don't have to play that play three round. game playing round that they've done the last two years, which they've won, but they've won twice. Yeah. <laughs> it's str- Yeah. It's, but you'd, you'd, rather, you'd not, rather not yeah, play those games. Yeah. You'd rather have, you know, three or four days of extra practice, no travel, Time heal off. up a little bit, yeah. prepare for the team you know you're going to play. And when you look at the standings, they're only six points behind um, the Grand Rapids Griffins for second place to get home ice advantage in that series. Mm-hmm. And they play Griff- the Griffins four more times in their final 14 it's games. So it's points available. very possible i mean they they are i believe 11 points behind the admirals for first place who had a 19 yeah. game winning streak at yeah, one point this season them, but. but they play the admirals five times before oh. the end well, of the there season there you go there's so a 10 points nine point. of their last 14 games are against the two teams ahead of them in the standings so and that's how you grow rivalry that's wow. how you do it <laughs> well yeah in the ahl you play, well, you your, play, divisional t- times. You play your divisional team a million times 60 of your 70 yes. games you, are all you in essentially division. just play your division <laughs> except for like 12 games yeah uh, yeah, so it's, <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's good. Those there. are more I mean, important games yes, to be that's playing. Meaningful. Yeah. That's meaningful for them to be down there doing that stuff. And, you know, it's, it's, you kind of, if you want to look at a glass half full, it's a, maybe a little vote of confidence in them that, hey, if we feel it's, we'll give Kaiser a look up here and we'd rather have you two down there right now because you're sure. more reliable. I don't know. There's ways yeah. to spin it, but. Oh, Isaac uh, Phillips had two goals last, last night. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. And a big, huge come from behind win against the Wolves. Down three nothing yep. in the first, uh, going into the third, and they win four three in overtime. Yep, uh, good stuff. Yeah, it's very good. good stuff. It is good, and I, I you would have you know, read all about it in the rebuild report. There you go. I just I right, love when uh, No Roids is a voice of reason. <laughs> like, first, are we really first, obsessing over uh, <laughs> line first choices? time for everything? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, we're gonna take a break and come back, and we'll get some more into this game. Uh, but first, Mario is gonna tell you about Circa. Circa, hey, if you've been uh, paying attention today to the. CHGO social medias, you would have seen that the CHGO Bears crew and uh, other CHGO uh, delegates were out at the uh, Circa event being held in, um, I believe it's a Circa, like a location that they're going to build a Circa casino. Was that the the case that it was? Yes, it's like it's a temporary building. They've got like the land and so it's, it's not fully built yet. So it's Technically called like a tent, but it's not a tent. It's, it's a, a, it, it, it looked like a, it looked like a casino from the yeah, inside. Yeah, like from it the is. pictures, yeah. it looked like a casino. very much. Yeah. Is. But it'll be it's a location in Waukegan where the Circa Casino will uh, be fully constructed and fully operational at one point. Um, like but the yeah, they were out there for just like uh, the Death Star. Oh uh, <laughs> yes, fully operational. Uh, they were out there for the live bear show and stars. for all the uh, college hoops going on. They had a fun time, uh, and you're always going to have a fun time with Circa with their tight money line splits and low hold models. Uh, for example, Circa will strive to have games at a minus 110 split on their Circa sports menu, unlike other sports books, which may have the same game at minus 115 or minus 120. And that's because Circa keeps as little money as possible on large market bets. And that, you talk about large market bets, college hoops tournament going on right now, that's the largest it could ever 
B. Uh, they also have high app limits. So if you're really good at uh, placing wagers and you win a lot, Circa's not going to limit That's you. Me. They want you. Yeah, sure, not me. That's one of us. They want you to try and take as much money from them as possible. And they encourage bettors to download and explore all of the betting apps available and compare the lines and see that you're always going to get the best ones from Circa. And when it comes to customer service, you're going to get nothing better uh, than what Circa provides because there are real people behind the Circa Sports brand who resolve issues in a timely fashion, unlike other books who use chatbots. Boo, those chatbots suck. All aspects of the app are run by the same team that runs the main Circa Sportsbook at Circa Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. What you want to do is download the Circa Sports Illinois app at circasports.com slash Illinois dash app. Sign up today and be on the lookout for more Circa events, watch parties, and tailgates. Uh, if you or someone you know has a problem with gambling, call 1-800-GAMBLER or text GAMB, G-A-M-B, to 833-234 or visit areyoureallywinning.com. And if you're winning big bucks over there on Circa... I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You can go and spend that money with our other pals over at Game Time and attend live sporting events mm -hmm. or concerts Those or fun. theater or comedy shows. Whatever mm. it is that requires a ticket, you can get it at Game Time, and you don't have to worry about buying your tickets for whatever event you want to go to. Game Time is e the fast and easiest way to buy tickets for all events in your area or maybe further away from here maybe you're going on vacation you want to buy some tickets to something while you're out there road trip with last minute ticket deals all in prices views from your seat and their best price guarantee game time takes all the guesswork out of buying your tickets there are just five home games left for the chicago blackhawks this season that's crazy wacky uh all including this tuesday night we're all going to be there hanging out in the 100 level for our takeover it's pride night you can get in the door for 25 dollars at game time Stars, 37 bucks next Saturday. Then next Sunday, the Wild are in town for 27 bucks. Mm. The final two home games of the year, April 12th against the Predators and April 14th against the Carolina Hurricanes. Two playoff teams. $23 gets you in the door for either of the final two home games of the Not year. Not bad. You know, when you're sitting around in July with no hockey to go to, you're going to wish you spent that $23 yeah. on game time to go to the hockey game. Go we'll watch Jacob Megna's last home game. <laughs> See, Table's last home. game is a non hawk at the United Center. Right. <laughs> So take the guesswork out of buying tickets, download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code CHGO for twenty dollars off your first purchase. That means three dollar Blackhawk tickets. <laughs> yeah. How do you beat that? Perfect. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem the code. I'm going to spell it out for you. C H G O for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And now it is time for Light the Lamp, presented by Coors Light. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing something? Yes, I am. I yes, know. you're supposed to be doing I know, I know. It's getting, getting to the horn. It's just, we'll get we have there. so horn. many things. There it is. It's under L. All right, that was... Horn. There. Nice. Yeah, I know. That was anticlimactic. Well, it's just, you know, we've got 700 <laughs> sounds that we never use, and here well, Maybe we are. should start deleting them all. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Delete them all. Then maybe there'd be more space on the computer to save stuff. Interesting. Yeah, that's <laughs> that Atari 2600 hard drive is running out of space. <laughs> Get your Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash CHGO Hockey. That's CoorsLight.com slash CHGO Hockey. The game's about to start. You don't want to get up and go get Coors Light. Get it delivered right now. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, mouth. Colorado. And boy, we really had to search hard for who's done well against the Ducks. We think Connor Bedard is going to light the lamp. Hell yeah. Oh, this one. I mean, brave. Yep. Yeah. He had Brave five choice. points against the Ducks last time they played. So I think he'll do it again. Is tonight the night that Connor Bedard becomes a point per game player? He's uh just what, two points off the pace? He is exactly one point one off point. the pace. Fifty four points in fifty five games. Two point nine. Oh, yeah, I think let's he do can it. do it. Yeah. I think so. I think Tonight's the night. I hope he does. For Me too. selfish reasons. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> as long as Nick Felino gets uh, a point on has a goal on every one of his assists. Sure. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I am, I'm sorry. I'm distracted. I'm, I'm looking at the uh, game preview sheet that the Blackhawks send out before every game. And on the side, they have a little blurb about three players that watch from the Ducks. And you have Frank Vitrano, who in this small picture looks like it's Tyler Johnson wearing a Ducks jersey. <laughs> Troy Terry looks like a freaking serial killer. Yes. And Mason McTavish looks like a homeless guy. 
Like it's these are the, like the they're, worst they're pictures. They're ever. an interesting trio. Yes, it goes from it's good the to bad. Of to ducks worse. hockey. Yeah. Um, so that's sorry, I was distracted. But yes, uh, <laughs> Connor <laughs> Connor Bedard is probably going to do a whole bunch of stuff tonight that involves. I hope so. Lights, I hope so. Lamps lighting. Make, make it worth our lamping. while for being up this late again. Please. Yep. Uh, I sent you the photo there from the weird document well, on Slack if you want to see if you can pull it up. But, I, I, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun little end run. We talked, we've talked about this a little bit uh, as we've gone on here the last couple of weeks, like ending this season with some wins, maybe not consecutive wins or super meaningful wins, but wins that are not losses. <laughs> yes. You know, because Good point. <laughs> there was certainly a point this year where it was loss after loss after loss after loss, and you saw Connor Bedard punching walls yeah. and people frustrated and just ending, general <laughs> meh ending about the, the whole thing. Ending the season with uh, more positive vibes uh, than negative would be a good thing. And, uh, you know, as far as the lottery goes, like – they're they're in a fine position. It'll it'll be just fine. So, yep. getting some wins, especially against you know teams that you, you look at this as like it's a winnable game, much more winnable than against the Kings. Like, go out there and have a good performance. Yeah, we've got the graphic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here, and Troy Terry it. really does look like he's it's, uh, he's, he's yeah, scary he's little, looking dude. Man. He's got some limestone in, in the back of his car. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> check his crawl space. Yeah. <laughs> it also doesn't help that his jersey looks like it doesn't fit him properly. Yeah, yeah he looks amazing. Yeah, he looks very the, low cut yeah, without he, the he, shoulder he pads. Scoop and, neck. Yeah. What are those aliens on Star Trek: Deep Space Nine with the giant <laughs> necks? It looks like one of those. I just remember Quark. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's and not. And then a, McTavish is like a it's tie up on his. Like, Paul right says his Troy Terry's room. picture just made me check the locks on my door. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah, that's smart. It's a good idea. Smart. Um, but definitely getting back to the end of the year here. Definitely some winnable games. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. Ducks and Sharks next two games. We've just. This is this is strange. I can't believe I'm saying this. The next two games, the Blackhawks can sweep the season series against both the Ducks <laughs> and the Sharks wow, with whoa. victories. How about that? That is bizarre. You should be relegated if that happens to you. Uh, and then they come <laughs> home. They have the Flames. That's a winnable game. You've beaten them once. They're done. Plus, we're there. Take over. Uh, yeah, take right. Over. Take, Auto, yeah. take take over. At least vibes. A point. Guaranteed. Got to continue. Point. Yep. Uh, then it's at the Ottawa Senators. Uh, already beaten them this year. Mm-hmm. The Flyers. That's a tough one. They're they're fighting for playoffs. But then the Islanders. That's that'll be a tough one. They may or may not still be fighting for a playoff. Yeah, they are losing five one to the Red Wings. Uh, as last yeah, year. it was five three. They scored a couple. Oh, oh. third periods. Oh, I think the game's over though. Mm. Uh, then back home for the Stars and Wild. Back to back games. Tough games. Tough games. Then at the Blues, home against the Predators, Carolina, and then your last two games of the year. Uh, Vegas and Kings again. So on the road for us, which is on awesome. the road. Yeah. yeah. Excited for that. So hopefully the Kings that last game will have their spot all wrapped up and they'll be playing bunch everybody. They'll be playing a bunch. Yeah. Of, we'll, we'll be playing the Ontario rain <laughs> and play uh, Alex Turcotte 25 won't minutes. Be a, if he's actually can skate 25 minutes, I have my <laughs> doubts about that. Uh, and hopefully it won't be a six two game, but there's some winnable games here. I mean, yeah. you could easily win Four of those games, maybe surprise, catch one of these good teams napping. Yeah, sure. um, you know they they uh, they they deserve some wins down the stretch to feel good going into next season. Get yeah. re- get rewarded for doing the things right that we've been asked that they've been asked to do right all season. Instead of taking moral victories, get actual W's. Things you can go home and feel good about. Yeah, definitely. And I think there's also, we talked about this like last year, if you believe in karma, <laughs> there's something mm-hmm. to be said about finishing strong, trying to win, Playing hard not tank, not like intentionally tanking or putting out a shittier, a shittier lineup than you can. Like the yeah. hockey gods, maybe if you believe in that sort of thing, reward that kind of a thing. So we'll see. We got a chat from our buddy is at the hockey barn. Said, sorry if I miss it. Any update on Blackwell? Uh, nothing yet. Out tonight. Uh, out tonight for sure. And... Luke is being intentionally vague about updates, well, kind of still being looked at as kind of the... Maybe he's learned his lesson and yeah. not come out and say it's not serious, and then we're planning the guy's funeral three weeks later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's almost always wrong. Yeah, like uh, like Connor Murphy was supposed to come back one game later, and that was like 
two months ago. That was in like January. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like we haven't seen him since. They're yeah. shutting him um, down, right? There's no why. There's no reason to play. Yeah, there's no. There's no reason to, to come back, back and play. No, there's really no reason. If he's not even on the ice yet, like yeah, no, it's yeah. Not you worth have it. three weeks left to the season, not less than a it. month. There's no reason to you know. But we're talking about hockey players here. Hockey players, they're tough. They're a different breed, and. Yeah. If he can somehow make it back to play those last two games of the year, he'll do it. But uh, we'll see. Maybe they'll hide his helmet. <laughs> Before we wrap up, a bunch of new people I'm seeing in the chat today. Sarah, Benjamin, uh, Gabriel. These are some names I haven't seen before. Maybe I've missed them. If I have, I'm sorry. But welcome. Uh, yeah, Gabriel's going to see the game in uh, San Jose. Nice. nice. That'll, That'll be fun. fun. Hope you got that game time deal and are paying single digits for those <laughs> tickets. Yeah. <laughs> but have fun. That should be a entertaining game. Fun bad is still fun. Yeah. Yeah, we we Did just I, we always love seeing uh seeing new faces in here and while you're here. There's a large shark head in that state. The, the old Yeah, they scared out of the shark. Yeah, they scared out of the shark head. That's fun. Yeah, if they ever fun. got rid of that, I think they There'd should be just get rid of the team. team. Yeah, if they didn't get rid of it though, I would like to have that at my house. I don't know. Like if they true. got rid of that, they would lose all four hundred of their season ticket holders. <laughs> <laughs> the wolves do it better anyway. With kickstart my heart into flames and stuff. Yeah, that's the, the, best the, thing the, they the do. wolves still think it's nineteen ninety four. By the way, getting back to the listening to us on the post game on the drive back, uh, Sandra Muir said, "I listen to the yes. CHO post game show on the two and a half hour drive home from the UC after each game." Two and Audio and from the YouTube video feed plays over CarPlay, no problem. Which that's I've done that. That's on true. The way yeah, home. you can do that. I've, I've too, done yeah. that before yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. but I like the idea of it like being a little more. Two and a half hours. I, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I I listen to our pals at What Chaos Live, or I will do the yeah, Bear like Show on my way in. Yeah. And I that's big of you. To I admit always that. prop the phone up. Yeah, and I'm. I'm yeah, tempted like, to look. Yes. Mm. No, I agree. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I usually just throw my phone in like the middle console thing. And yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, but also Sandra, where are you driving? That's yeah, that's two a dedication. Two and a half hours that's every game? game. That's dedication, that right a, there. Uh, we definitely appreciate. Was lived by Mario. Yeah, <laughs> ha, <laughs> that's further than me. <laughs> she, we appreciate your dedication to both the team, and uh, we are happy to uh, diehard behavior guide yeah. you home on your way home. At least half of your ride home, because by the time we're done, you still have an hour and a half to go. Well, sure. We appreciate it. If Thank you listen you very twice. Much. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Make sure you make sure you don't miss anything we said. Right. Uh, and Sarah, by the way, Greg says I was part of the unnamed couple for the uh, oh, okay. concourse that ran into Greg on St. Patrick's Day. All right. Oh, nice, nice to finally put a name to a face. Nice awesome. to meet you there guys. You Thanks for saying hello. Well, since you're new, and I see J3423, that's a new one, I believe. Uh, all you new people. Is that one of your burners? Smash the, no, <laughs> it's all Steve from Cicero. Smash the like button for us. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube page as well. And hey, it's probably a good time to remind you to become a CHGO diehard. Why? Because, first of all, you get a free shirt or hat upon sign-up. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's a good value. You get 20% off all of our events, including our takeovers, our watch parties. I'm sure we're going to have NFL draft parties coming up. we got a lot we of do. stuff on the horizon. Mm-hmm. Uh, 20% off all of those. You'll save 20% off on everything at the CHGO Locker, including our brand-new Chicago collection, which is on your screen right now. Love those. Uh, and you get access to our great written content. Can't wait to see them. So you get to read the Rebuild Report, which was published today. My Blackhawks beat was published uh, on Wednesday. And uh, the Discord. Mm -hmm. Access to our members-only, diehards-only Discord. Last week, we gave away a uh, Corey Crawford commemorative game puck that was used during warm-ups between the uh, Ice Hogs and... Who'd they play? Uh, Wolves. Wolves. It was the Wolves. Yeah, You're right. Mm -hmm. Ice Hogs and Wolves. So uh, Michael Evans is getting that shipped out. Uh, this weekend, so lots of reasons to become a diehard. Before, before your Chicago <laughs> collection shirt arrives. Well, I gotta send it myself, and I'm lazy. Yeah, yeah. let's but still get there before the. Actually, Chicago Michael's coming shirt. out to the uh, to our March Fatness Selection Show of the I'm Fat Podcast on Saturday. Oh, oh so I'm just gonna give it to him there. There you go, just bring That'll it. Work. That's Perfect. it. it. Saves on shipping. There you go. All right. Perfect. So join us post game. We'll be there as soon as the game ends. Uh, but if you want to become a diehard. Uh, allchgo.com, click on that Die Hard tab and do it today. We would greatly appreciate it. And then we'll shout you out on the show afterwards. Yeah. All right. Oh, and uh, yeah. our takeover the uh, that we're doing. Yes. The Die Hards got first dibs, right? Yes. That, we did that for them? Yes. We did that. Yeah. Yeah, we so did that for you. It pays to be a Die Hard. It does. Seriously, you go to an event, you buy a shirt at discount, it basically pays for itself. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's a great, great deal. And more, most importantly, it helps us out. So, all right, we'll see y'all after the game right here on the CHGO Blackhawks podcast. We all silly like the mayor. 